All right, I'm Brian Crawford. We just recorded an interview of PGH Art Talk, and we're here with Zach Brown. We're in his studio, and he's doing something. What are you doing, Zach? I'm just adding some pigment to a little medium here, just to entertain. Just makes it look like I'm gonna add a little extra oomph to this piece I'm working on. So I have a bad habit where, so I started this, it was originally gonna be a piece of the Monster series, but then I uh, decided I was gonna do all the ropes, and I can't leave something unfinished. It's it's a guilt thing. Um, yeah, that series was very very cool. By the way, I was we were very fortunate to record your artist talk. Yeah, which was pretty cool. I think I think the thing is. I feel like with paintings, if I start something, it's more of a compulsion. I can't leave a unfinished painting. I think it's, you know, it's like a work thing. If I am, um, I'm not building bridges or, you know, I don't know. I think it's, it's maybe more like a familial guilt where it's like, I had many people in my family do a lot of work work very hard and I'm making paintings so in some ways I'm like I can't be lazy with it if I it will nag at me and I can't not finish something so whether I love it or not I think like halfway through a painting or near the end of it it starts to be like a uh, near the end of a relationship where mm -hmm. I'm working on a painting and the painting's like are you thinking about other paintings while you're working on me? <laughs> I'm like, no, painting. You're my only painting. I'm not thinking of any other paintings, baby. And then it's like, what's this in your sketchbook? Are these thumbnails for other paintings? I'm like, what? You weren't supposed to see that. And then I eventually finished the painting and, and like a bad ex-boyfriend. And then they eventually find a home and go off and they're much happier someplace else. But it was very formative. So I'm like, oh. Don't get me started on my ex. He was crazy. He was an artist. <laughs> now, how long did you, when did you start working on this piece? How long has it taken so far? Well, this sat around for a bit, but generally if, from like start to finish with a painting, I'll say it's probably, if I'm a good boy, I can get it done in like a month. Okay. If wow. I'm, uh, you know, taking my vitamins and eating my Wheaties, um, I can get it, I can turn them out. Versus like a podcast that takes like a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the thing with turnaround. It's like you're always doing something, whether you're working on the painting directly or not. It's important to even just kind of come into studio and be around the work, and you know. Now how long did it give take? Give you some time to ruminate. Yeah, how long did it take to do the entire exhibit, the monsters exhibit? Because that looked. Really intense, and I. So that was all new work except for the, the three cast iron casts I showed. So I think I knocked all that out in about four and a half months. So wow. that was like sixteen new paintings total. But that was uh, that was full tilt boogie, you know. No, no, I believe you said you don't drink coffee, right? No, were no, you on no like coffee. vitamin B twelve or something? Like, no, 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 you... no. I'm uh, just fueled by like a. Uh, desperation and uh, pride <laughs> <laughs> and I could live on gin and compliments <laughs> that's awesome yeah the the pool thing was great what I loved I thought the triangle pieces uh, when you first see like the three triangle pieces at the back wall when yeah. you first walk in I thought that really like kind of created a, an atmosphere I, I felt like when I walked in it was it was just so uh, it was eye-catching, and I think it like kind of drew you in and made you curious to uh, explore the entire project. Was that did that go into your placement? I was at all? really happy how the stuff came together in the room. It filled the space nice, nicely. I originally had a plan for doing this like 16-foot boat burial piece, and I was like, I was doing these monsters, and I was doing the triangles, and I was like getting a hold of a friend who had a canoe and someone to come over and pose. And then I had to scrap it because I'm like, I'm going to 
die if I try to <laughs> do this one too. Um, but glad I didn't because I didn't know where it wouldn't have fit in the room. I thought I thought the room was a lot larger than it was. Cause yeah. I went and saw the space and I hadn't had and I didn't have anything done at the point, so it was uh, kind of like the intimidation of the blank space that you have to fill up. Mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, shit. Gotta, gotta make these goddamn monsters. Made my bed. But, um, no, it, it came together. I was very happy about it. You were like one of the last exhibits to be open in that space. They, well, they, well, it's, the crazy thing is so, got invited for that show, and then right before the show went up, they fired the curator, put that show together, hired a new curator, and then it's just like, it was a, it was definitely interesting. Uh, I mean, just give me the room, I'll put the stuff up. But yeah, it's. I don't know how they run things over there, but you know, the best of luck to them in the future. Yeah. So when you finish this, how, how much longer would it take you to finish a project like this? So this is. I'm gonna kind of leave a little more raw. What I'm gonna do in the background is add some. Um, geometric uh, copper elements and then just probably frame it up and put a final um, varnish on it but I think for this one just kind of leave it more I like a lot of the kind of tones and colors I'm getting already and I don't think I'm gonna have to over render this one I think this will work just fine as kind of a gelatinous figure mm -hmm. What do you do once you're finished? Like, how, do you use the exhibit and, and kind of the images of that to sell this piece? We'll see. Um, are you talking about what I do when I'm finished with the piece in general, or...? Well, y yes, but also like this piece in particular, because it well, was... generally I pour myself a gin and tonic when I finish the piece, but... <laughs> um... Gin is good. It is my favorite drink, oh. actually. It is. Yeah. I'm a big fan of a Tom... Have you, have you ever had a Tom Collins? I have, I have. It's like my favorite mixed drink. See, I just like a, I like a good gin and tonic because you need that quinine. It sells the tum tum. Mm -hmm. No, but I mean this piece in particular because it, it's related to that monsters project. So yeah. Do you have anything special to try to? No, this sell will us? probably be a standalone. There's a couple odd ducks here and there. Majority, a lot of the time when I'm working on a piece, I kind of work on a series at a time. They start to talk to each other and work with each other, but. In the in the in betweens, kind of no man land between uh, different bodies of work, things still get made. Um, they generally don't get shown, so really the only place you'll probably see this is if you come visit the studio or um, in this footage. 